Today, I'm going to show you how to make beef barley soup in your pressure cooker. Rich, satisfying. It's quick and it's easy. It only takes about an hour to make. Let's get started. First, a chuck roast. Cut the chuck roast into about three large chunks. Trim excess fat off of those chunks. Not all of it, you wanna leave some fat for the flavor and the mouthfeel, but get some of the more obvious pieces out of there. Now, we generously season with salt. Make sure to get salt on all sides of the meat. There you go. Now we've got our pieces of chuck roast and we've also got some beef bones to add a little body and flavor. Heat your pressure cooker up and add some oil. We have a little bit of coffee while it warms up. It takes a few minutes. Neat little trick I'll do is sometimes put just a couple pieces of vegetable in there, and once they're sizzling, I know it's ready to go. Now, we add our pieces of chuck roast and move them around a little bit. That helps them get exposed to more of the heating surface, and it helps them brown a little bit better. Not quite there yet. We're going to let it go a little bit longer. Now, that's more like it. So turn them over so we can get nice browning on all sides. Now we're gonna remove our first batch of meat onto the tray and we're gonna put the next batch down. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure we even brown these bones too. Now everybody out of the party. And in goes our medium diced mirepoix. Add a little bit more salt and stir it around. <laughs> This looks like a better tool for stirring in this case. Now we're going to add about half of our minced garlic and stir that in until it starts smelling nice and aromatic. And now we take those sauteed vegetables out. You know, this is taking too long. We're just going to dump it out. Add a little more oil. Now add our large chunks of mirepoix to help flavor the stock. A little more coffee while it's sauteing. Now we're going to add about three quarters of a cup of dry white wine. Let it go until it's reduced slightly and no longer has that kind of acrid alcohol smell to it. Now drop in a couple of bay leaves and about a half a teaspoon of dried thyme. Now we add our stock. I'm using beef stock because I like this particular brand. However, most store-bought beef broths and stocks are crap. So if you can't find one that you actually like, just stick with chicken stock instead. Of course, homemade stock is always best, but you don't always have time for that, do you? Next, in goes one cup of pearled barley. Now the rest of our garlic. And now we're gonna add all that brown meat. And here you see I cut the chuck roasts up into smaller bite-sized pieces off camera because I forgot to do it on camera. Oh well. Now we give everything a good stir and make sure it's all combined. Now we're gonna put in a hearty dose of Worcestershire sauce. Give everything a good stir again. Now we close the lid and lock it. We're gonna set it for high pressure for 30 minutes and hit start and walk away. That's the beauty of countertop electric pressure cookers. Set it and forget it. Isabel, Isabel. Now we release the pressure by turning that release valve. Make sure to keep your fingers out of the way so it doesn't get blasted with hot steam. Safety is always first. When that red pressure valve drops, then it's safe to open the pressure cooker. Oh, look at that. I wish you could smell this. We're gonna get rid of our large mirepoix chunks, which have done their job and are too soggy to use. And we're also gonna get rid of those bones. And now an OCD sequence to show me trying to remove every last bit of those halved onions. And I don't let anything go to waste so I get any liquid from that mixing bowl back into the pressure cooker. We add our sauteed vegetables and stir those in. And here's our finished soup. Look at that. Delicious, hearty, 
perfect for a cold winter day. The meat's so tender it practically falls apart. Beef and barley soup, an American classic. Beef barley soup in your pressure cooker, do it. Mm -hmm.